Oh uh, boy, my heart's pounding. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna kill Throttle real quick. Okay, kick it back on. Uh, I see, okay, I see the hook. Oh, don't drop it the last moment on me. Come on. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with a epic creation. So this is the Mount Hood. This is by Rootin' Tootin' Cowboy, and this is a absolutely awesome aircraft carrier. So today, unlike the last time we checked out an aircraft carrier, we're actually going to attempt to land and potentially take off from this thing. So this thing is fully featured here. It does have a, a catapult system in the front, and it does have a, a hook system here in the back. So there is a jet that we can use that should pair up with this uh, aircraft carrier quite nice. Uh, you can see back here, here's the hooking system. It even has like a, one of those landing light systems. Which I think if you have an aircraft that has a radio on it, you can tune into this and it'll show you if you're coming up, I guess, either uh, too high or too low uh, for the hook system here, which is actually really cool to see. Now, that's not the only thing this thing has. It does have uh, defense systems. It's got a, uh, a missile system towards the front. And yeah, I just really look forward to checking this thing out. So we're going to jump up into this and we're going to actually take it out a little bit. Now my only concern is, and I did test this in uh, this mode, which this is the normal game, and in an experimental, uh, which has the optimization update. And it does seem that the experimental update, it does some really, really funny things with this carrier. Uh, I've noticed that the carrier will just randomly disappear at times. And it's not even despawning, like it'll disappear when I'm next to it. Uh, so it seems like the experimental update might be a little broken for a creation like this. So we are in normal Stormworks, so it might not look quite as smooth, but I can assure you we're going to have some fun here today. So I do want to say I don't believe this is quite as large as the last carrier we were checking out, but that one was a work in progress. I mean, this one is, I would say, a little bit more uh, feature complete. Especially some of the things that you would expect from a carrier. So over on the left side you do have the elevators They will take you down to a deck where you can store uh, a couple jets or it actually might be more than a couple It's probably fairly big down there uh, But the first thing I want to do I do want to move this away from the dock that way we can get a little bit of a uh, frame rate back uh, The only thing I am worried about though. So when we go to uh, grab our airplane or our jet I do worry about this thing despawning when we get too far away from it. And then I've had issues when it spawns back. And not this particular one, I haven't tested it yet. But I've had issues when large craft spawn back, it kind of crashes the game. So I'm hoping we don't run into that here today. All right, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead and get into the bridge here and activate some lights, uh, get this thing running. Uh, let's see, nav lights. Oh, let's go with the white lights here. All right, it's gonna go nav lights for the actual carrier. Let's go, we got anchors up here. Let's go and turn on our nav systems here. So we got a, uh, that's a map over there. Let's see, let's go and get our spotlights on, exterior lights on, sonar is on, and radar is on. So to start this thing, it actually is uh, powered by jets. So we'll hold this down, and uh, once it gets to 0.5, it will uh, kick on, and we should be able to throttle out here a little bit. All right, here we go, kicking point now, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and throttle up a little bit. This should clear up some of the lag, so uh, let's go ahead and start to get away from that wall back there and get in a little bit deeper waters. Now, we're not gonna go anywhere as far yet. Uh, the idea is to maybe go, I don't know, maybe half a kilometer more, and then we're gonna stop, that way I can go spawn a jet in the hangar and come and try to attempt a landing. Now, I do promise you, it's gonna be messy. I'm not a very good pilot in Stormworks. I'm pretty sure it's very possible to land on this thing. I'll move a little bit further out. All right, start to throttle down here. There we go. All right, so we're at zero. All right, so yeah, it's definitely running a little bit smoother now. Now, there is missiles on the front of this, which we will play with those here in a bit, but I do want to go ahead and uh, show you guys the hook system here. All right, so if we travel back here, and this is the first time I've seen this on any craft, here in Stormworks. This thing does have a carrier hook system. So the jet that we have has a pylon that comes down and it's got a connector on it. So in theory, and I do want to say in theory because Komodo is probably going to screw this up, 
we should be able to drag that across and it should connect into uh, one of these three and this is like a chain basically I think it's like I don't know what it's made out of on a real carrier but this looks like a chain and this will slide forward and hopefully stop the aircraft because yeah this is not much of a runway and then I guess once we're done there is a way I believe to activate the catapult system which I don't know how that's gonna work that might be a kind of interesting I don't even know if it fully works we'll have to see I'm sure it does but we'll see what Komodo can do with it all right so we're gonna move back here is the carrier okay so the carrier is still spawned in right there it's gonna be a little awkward uh, landing because yeah I, I think I can make it over all these buildings I'm gonna want to be like really low this is one thing I really wish you had the option for in Stormworks. I would love to see the option to keep an emissions, say, items spawned in, because if you get so far away, it does despawn, and that's always a little annoying, especially if you're coming in fairly hot, or if you're pretty far away, you want to be able to see that carrier from a far distance. So, hopefully they maybe change something there. Now, the plane we're going to be using, it's the SSI F-24 Falcon. Uh, it does have a, uh, a system here that we can, uh, hold, hold on, let's check, make sure, okay. So, yeah, carrier's still in. Get a little bit of slowdown here. Uh, but, yeah, I want to go ahead and let's open up the canopy, apply the brakes. I want to show you guys uh, what I'm hoping to uh, hook into and land, because this is going to be a little messy for Komodo here. All right, so, actually, no, nope, no, nope, landing gear back up, please. I think I've already screwed this up. There we go. Okay, so brakes on. So, when we get into our takeoff mode we'll go ahead and where is it there it is the carrier hook so we'll activate this and folks look at this I mean I understand uh, pilots especially uh, aircraft carrier pilots have to have nerves of steel because that little connector there that's supposed to be what we're gonna hit with those three over there and stop this aircraft if not uh, you're gonna try to abort the landing and try not to run into anything and die so yeah, uh, Komodo's got a good track record with that, right? Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and fire up. Let's go. We don't need nose wheel. I think we can pretty much take off straight out of this thing. So cockpit power is on. Okay, HUD's on. Let's go ahead and close the canopy here. All right, canopy's closed. Let's go and engine up. Uh, nav lights on. Uh, we don't need formation lights. Go and go landing lights on. All right, so we should be good to go. So the NWS is uh, nose wheel steering. Uh, you would turn that up to, I guess, kind of... Actually, this would be good for a carrier if you're on the side you want to take off and kind of steer on it. We might be able to use that. I kind of wish I could just spawn one of these planes straight on the carrier. Uh, maybe there's something I can do with that. All right, let's just go and put our thrust at 100, and then we should be good to go to throttle up here. Uh, let's go ahead and release the brakes. Brakes are off. All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead. I'm going to do this from the third person. That way I can see a little better. All right. Let's go ahead and throttle up here. Uh, she hadn't quite... She hadn't quite kicked on yet, huh? Give her a second. There we go. All right. Let's throttle that all the way. And we should be good. Yeah, it's going to lift. Easy. There we go. All right. So we are in the air. And we are expected to land on that. I should probably throttle down now. Ooh, boy. Okay, so keep the carrier spawned in because we don't want to lose sight of it. Yeah, there's just no way. Can we play with the... You know, I might try to hook up a remote. I don't know if Stormworks really works with the remote yet. That would be the best chance of me uh, actually landing this because me with the keyboard uh, isn't exactly the best thing ever. Like, in pretty much any games that involve steering, I have to have some sort of a... Uh, a little bit easier control surface for me. Now, right, let's go ahead. We're going to throttle down. Let's throttle down to... Oh, no, we don't want to kick it off. There we go. Let's go to about 60. All right, so hopefully this doesn't crash if that carrier despawns. I can still see it. Uh, we're going to come back this way. Uh, can we... There's no such thing as, like, gliding in Stormworks, so... I don't know how low throttle we could really go with this. This is going to be messy. If this actually works, like... I'm going to have to give myself a round of applause because, yeah. All right, throttle that down. Okay, let's go. Where is it? Okay, carrier hooks down. Uh, I know I'm not coming in this time for the landing, but I just want to have all that ready to go. Oh, boy, look at that. So, yeah, it would be kind of cool to have a radio on this. Uh, maybe some aircrafts will start to have that. And you can actually connect, I guess, to that landing light system. And uh, you can see kind of what's going on there. Let's go ahead and do a little pass over here. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, Komodo's job. This is not going to be an easy one here today. <laughs> Can we just land a helicopter on it and call it a day? All right, this is about as lined up as I think I'm going to be here. All right, so we're lined up pretty good. Uh, I don't want to hit anything low here. Okay, turn a little to the side. Uh, boy, my heart's pounding. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to kill throttle real quick. Okay, kick it back on. Uh, I see... Okay, I see the hook. Okay, kill throttle. Oh, don't drop at the last moment on me. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, okay, we were over to the side. Uh oh, this is going to be bad. No. Oh, dear. Does that count as landing on it when you do actually stay on it? Hold on. Throttle down. Throttle down. Calm it down. Okay. On, hit the canopy. Okay, engines off. There we go. Carry your hook off. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm going to have to try that at least one more time. I was good there. It's a little uh, unpredictable when you kind of kill the throttle because at the, uh, the minimal throttle, it really starts to drop. So it's getting that timing right and getting it close. I really truly wonder how far was I off the hook. Like, I know I was above it. And I was over to, I think, this side here a bit. I don't know. I feel like that deserves... Actually, that looks really silly. <laughs> I feel like this deserves one more chance. All right, here we go. Landing attempt number two. Okay. Wait. Wait. Okay, get lower. Get lower. All right, we just got to grab onto the hook. I'm going to come out to the right a little bit. And then we're going to yaw back in. Okay, kill throttle. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. No, no, go down. Go down. Go down. Okay, we're off to the side. Oh, if it would have been just angled. Uh oh this is going to hurt. <laughs> I don't think Komodo is going to be able to do that. Uh, I don't know if that was up oh, and exploding. Oh, I forgot to have survival on, by the way. Uh, hold on. Let's open that up. We need an ejection seat. <laughs> oh, that is... Man, that's, it's pretty tough. Like, it's very, very possible to hit that. Uh, now, as far as, is it very, very possible for Komodo to hit that? Eh, that's debatable. But still, nonetheless, that's pretty fun. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, we just decided to park the, uh, the jet in the uh, underground or underwater uh, parking lot. Uh, we didn't really want it on the deck anyways. I, I truly didn't need that. No, this is, this is cool. <laughs> so I really do think the first attempt was a, a little better. The, the second attempt uh, was off to the other side and they completely missed the hook if I would have dropped it a little sooner and if I would have been straight I think I could have skimmed that hook now whether or not it would have actually stopped me I don't know <laughs> I might have been coming in too fast <laughs> there's a lot of variables that probably need to happen uh, for that to work right you know we can always pretend that my uh, aircraft's over here and we would just go hey you know what let's just put it down and store it <laughs> on the next deck alright so I do want to try, man, I'm trying to figure out how we would do this with the catapult system. I'd like to try it out. Also, I want to try the rockets here. So that's definitely another thing. Let's see if we can find where the uh, the weapons launch from. Maybe it's the top? Uh, we'll see. All right, so we have another station here. Air traffic control lights. Oh, here's where the air traffic control sets. Uh, hold on. Air search radar. Are you serious? So that would have detected me? Oh, it'd be so cool to do this in multiplayer. Uh, there's weather station. Is this which camera? Oh, actually, we can pivot this, can't we? Uh, let's see. Zoom. Tilt. What camera is this? Oh, let's zoom it out. Oh, that's going to be the... Uh, okay, hold on. Let's pan this a little bit. I think it needs to be kind of reversed. Yeah, that's the runway camera. So you can see it on either side. It looks like it's upside down, but I'm pretty sure we can get that uh, all hooked up. Oh, let's see. There's the catapult. Reset. Okay, let's see. On oh, it's open sled hatch. Where? Okay, I'm looking for that. Oh, I think... Yeah, okay, so the sled hatch just opened. So we click this to raise the sled. Hold on, look for the sled to pop up. So I'm assuming it runs off kind of the same system. Where's the sled at? All right, so the sled's almost back. I think we'll turn off the reset, and then we would double tap to launch... So that's how we would launch our uh, aircraft. So we would get clearance, say, hey, we're ready to take off, and we would go boop. Does it have, like, a blast shield? I don't think it has a blast shield in the back. A lot of times they'll have, like, a shield. 
Oh, there's a sled right there. Okay, so there is a connector on that. Oh, that's so cool looking. All right, so we'll turn off the reset. So once we get the uh, the good to go, we'll go double tap. There it goes. It would drag it. And... Yep, it would have released, and yeah, good to go. <laughs> it's amazing. So we've got that. What is this back here? Select aircraft. Oh, this is like a, a little radio station. So we can uh, track the aircraft in the area, I'm assuming. That's cool. Okay, so there's another system we haven't been over yet. Which, by the way, I think we're ready to start moving here. I don't think we're going to hook a uh, aircraft into that catapult. I don't even know if that aircraft was uh, fitted for it back there. Because you wouldn't use the carrier hook. You'd have like a... You would hook it into the... Right around the wheels. And I don't know if it can do that. Uh, but yeah. Well, let's go ahead and start to move here. Uh, we'll get out to sea. Let's go autopilot. We'll maybe launch at something. What's this down here? We got rocks. Hey, we're going to go to the wind turbine. So let's go ahead and set a waypoint over here. Uh, what is this in here? Oh, radar tracking. So there's more operations. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, yes. Wait, let's see. Surface search radar. Hold on. Surface that out. I'm searching for targets. What are we doing in Stormworks, folks? This is cool. Uh, we can uh, arm the uh, the system outside. So there's our missiles, which I think it's actually... Oh, it's loading missiles up. Missiles came down from those doors in the decks. And yeah, it's just loaded itself up. Hold on, it's getting a chair. Look at that. So yeah, those uh, missiles weren't there. Those hatches opened up. Elevators pulled them out. They attached to this, and they're ready to go. This is just nut... Uh-oh. Uh oh, it's turning towards our waypoint, right? We're not going head on with that island, are we? Uh, uh, yeah, we're turning. Okay, I think we're good. I was getting a little worried there. <laughs> All right, so we don't really have anything to target here, but how do we? Okay, this is for the radar. How do we move this? Okay, look around. So we're ready to fire, but I don't feel like we're locked onto a target. What's this side? Oh, it's probably this side. Let's see. Oh, that's the air radar. Did it just detect something? Uh, okay. There's that. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to move this thing. Hold on, maybe... maybe. Oh, I think it's here. Hold on, let's turn on the lights, too. Uh, actually, turn on the red lights. We're, uh, we mean business here today. Alright, so we can move... Wait, this feels like it's targeting... Oh, okay, so I get what's going on here. So what you're seeing, this view out of this monitor that I'm on, is not the view out of the rockets. Like, there's no, uh, at least I don't think that's a camera. There's no camera here. Uh, you're actually seeing the view out of maybe this thing up here or uh, one of these things. So yeah, you're uh, seeing a view here. The rockets are actually down there, so we can... Uh, Oh, there's a targeting laser. Hold on. Let's turn that on. Oh, oh, that's going to show us where it's coming out of. Oh, it's actually up here. All right, so let's go ahead and go here. We are looking for our target. There is a lighthouse here. Uh, too bad the cameras weren't a little less pixelated in Stormworks. Uh, I believe the lighthouse is going to be right. Okay, I see the lighthouse. Okay, so let's go up over to the left a little bit. It's hard for you guys to see this. We'll, uh, we'll launch these. Uh, I see I can't launch from this chair, so I need to go down. Okay, so wait, I can. Oh, never mind. That's uh, just a target tracking. That's about where this is going to end up. Okay, so we are. Are we still crossing or are we stopped moving? Hold on, let's move over a little, little bit to the left. All right, so we're going to watch these things launch real quick. So uh, let's go boom. Okay, hold this because I want to go into photo mode and see what this looks like and how amazing this is. Uh, I doubt we're going to hit it. The lasers are aimed towards the lighthouse, but I don't know if that's going to be a confirmed kill here. I don't know why we're shooting the lighthouse either, but <laughs> check this out. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, we have a dud. We have a confirmed dud. It did not release. I've seen pictures of this thing releasing. That, that's probably not a good sign, is it? Uh, let's go ahead and go maybe fire two. There we go. Uh, let's go back out in here. Uh, it might just be stuck on there. It could be just a glitch or something. But I've seen, if you look in the pictures on the workshop, this thing does launch these missiles. Uh, okay, come on. Come on. Oh, this one's sliding backwards. Uh-oh. Uh, so is the latch. Did I do something wrong here? Uh-oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, 
I think that was gonna work. Did I? Was there a safety? Was there a lock somewhere that I missed? Uh, very potential, but yeah, you could. You get the point of what was happening there. Oh, what are we in here? <laughs> uh, is this a? Oh, this is like a mission briefing room. Holy man! All right, it's getting a little laggy here. We're getting close to something, I think. Okay, so even though Komodo is not the best at using a lot of these things, uh, yeah, this is still one of the most feature complete ships or aircraft carriers, I should say, that I've ever seen here in Stormworks. And also, I want to look at this real quick. There's your wheel. Man, that catapult system has a connector from the back. Did that thing over there... I'm almost curious if that plane had a uh, connector on the front wheel. I don't think I, I saw anything for a lock on it, though. But yeah, the front wheel would rest into the sled there, and the connector, if you had one, would be just right by the wheel. That could totally work. Uh... But yeah, uh, obviously our targeting was a little off there. <laughs> By the way, also visually, we can go under the deck here. Let's see, that is the hollow interior. But if we go back here, go and show you guys this. This is where uh, you would be storing the aircrafts too. It would be kind of cool to see like a magol or maybe a couple connectors on the floor, I guess, to keep them stable. All right, so as a last thing of what we're going to do here today, we are going to go ahead and do what I normally do, and we're going to go ahead and hit this thing with the Tsunami just to test it out. Now, I do strongly advise you guys, if you want to go download this thing, I'll have a link in the description. It is actually one of the top workshop items right now. Uh, it does spawn in with the mission, like I said. Uh, hopefully, and I'll have to see, maybe we can revisit this at some point once I figure out the, uh, the catapult system and maybe how to hook that up because... That, honestly, would be one of the most amazing things to take off uh, from an aircraft carrier like that. And then maybe I can uh, adjust my piloting skills a little bit, too, because I understand those aren't exactly the best. So I'm not always, like, the best to demonstrate flying creations unless they all, like, are completely automated and I can just click, like, uh, altitude holds and uh, just basically adjust it like that. I'm actually decent at helicopters, though. That's one thing I, I do pride myself on in, in uh, Stormworks. Helicopters were good. Airplanes, eh, not so much. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and turn on those winds. Uh, we do have a tsunami on the way, by the way. Uh, it's going to be coming from the... I'm assuming, are we actually aimed north? Uh, I think this does spawn... Oh, actually, we're aimed south. So it's going to be coming from the uh, southwest, or is it south? I think it's southeast, actually. Uh-oh. Okay, so... Big waves are already affecting this thing a little bit. Oh, and here it comes. It's going to come back up. Do you guys think this thing's going to capsize? Uh, there's a chance it might. Maybe we should shoot some missiles at the tsunami. Wow, we are leaning right now. Uh, I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Uh, another question. On aircraft carriers, can you seal these doors down here? Is that a normal thing, or are they always open? Uh, I'm curious. Uh, somebody could probably answer that. There's some probably really knowledgeable people about aircraft carriers, and I think I just hit a rock. Yep, I'm pretty sure I just skimmed a rock. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I might get stuck here. This is not good. Okay, just keep going. Keep going. This is perfectly fine. I think I've beached myself. Okay, so, you know what? Thankfully, we have jets. Uh, it might be able to push us over. You really want to hit the tsunami from the front? Hold on, see if we can turn this. Come on! <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, I think we're... Okay, we're good. I think we're clearing it right now. Actually, the back might hit it. Uh, okay, I think we'll be fine. Alright, we're gonna take this thing head on here, if I can turn it. Alright, here it comes. Tsunami time. It's a fairly heavy ship, so I think it's gonna go down. But will it come out the other side is the question. Alright, here we go. Is everything below deck sealed off? I don't think there's... Yeah, there's not much to seal. There's an opening right there. I think we're good. Okay. Just hold on. Here we go. Up the tsunami. Uh, I can't turn it, really. So, we're not going to be hitting this at the ideal angle. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, just hold on. You got this. <laughs> it should say, besides beware of jet blast propellers and rotors, it should say also tsunamis. Wait. I feel like we're falling down it. Are we? Wait, this is doing good, actually. On. Oh, and this is going to jump out the other side, so it depends on what it's going to do here. Oh, there we go. And we are getting air. Uh-oh. So don't tip when you come back down. Oh, boy. What's this like on the inside? Oh, yeah, this is... No, this is great. Uh-oh. Uh 
it's good. It's good. It's going to come right back up. Yes. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, boy. That is a very, very cool aircraft carrier. Uh, definitely uh, thanks to Root Toot and Cowboy for putting that on the workshop. Uh, I do look forward to more stuff like this. And then hopefully once the optimization update gets all its bugs worked out, we'll be running this thing even smoother. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Stormworks series. You guys are absolutely amazing. We have more multiplayer coming up. I got more builds coming up. But yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support. And we will see you guys next time in Stormworks.